So we have still yet to find out if the beef that is going on between Kendrick Lamar and others has equaled what happened at Drake's home and where the security guard was shot multiple times and ended up in the hospital. But Boosie had been warning us about this. But also, Boosie ain't acknowledged his part in all of this that he's been taking prior to this as well. But the fans sure did remind us. Let's go to Chick Smooth for the commentary. Boosie said yesterday, I've never seen so many men excited to see men tearing each other down through music, shaking my head. The men are more excited than the women. I came in the casino and this man left his girl and asked me, Boosie, who do you think is going down, Drake or Kendrick? Shaking my head like that's what you're thinking about with a baddie on your side? Question for the world. Do y'all really want one of these great artists' career done because they lost a rap battle? Do you guys want all what they've done for hip-hop overshadowed by rap beef? They talking about children, baby mamas, dirt, fiancés, pedophiles, etc. It then got real. I hope y'all don't think these artists and crews shaking hands and smiling when they see each other. Nobody gonna be safe in the next artist city. Not to mention when other artists start picking sides and getting involved. Shaking my head, that's when is serious. Hashtag just speaking facts. Now, I promise you guys, the next thing that happened was one of the funniest moments ever. As Boosie was trying to be the voice of reason, trying to be the beacon of light, trying to be one of the only rappers to try to keep things positive between Drake and Kendrick. People got in the comments and told that Boosie, bro, shut the up, man. We are not trying to hear none of that right now. Somebody said your music has been teaching us to shoot, rob, and kill other black men. And sell drugs to the community. We still to this day support you. Another person told them, shut up. And finally, someone else told them, bro, your whole career was based off tearing people down. Stop it with the fake morality, Boosie Luther King. Listen, this is the unfortunate part of being a street rapper. Anytime you try to be positive, anytime you try to send a positive message, people will always be quick to remind you of who you were in the past. How you guys don't know Boosie hasn't changed since then? If you go to his page, all the man literally does now is take care of his kids, go to the Hawks games, and go fishing. Now today, after word went out, that Drake's security guard was shot at his mansion. Literally less than 24 hours after Boosie's tweet, Boosie took to Instagram to take a victory lap. He said, one day y'all gonna listen to me. And like I said in the previous video, they, they are listening to you, Boosie. They just not listening to this side of you. They listening to the shoot you in your face thug, Boosie. And I'm saying you can't give them both and expect them to be all Martin Luther King and Kubaya when they ready to be entertained. And I got to take a minute and apologize to Cardi B. I don't apologize for calling her a hypocrite, but I do apologize for not giving Boosie the same amount of smoke as I gave her. But that's all. We're going to rectify that right now. Because in the video about the uh, 20 versus 1, called her a hypocrite for acting like she doesn't know why these young ladies are, are acting the way that they're acting. The young girl took some rapper that she had just met within a minute in the bathroom and gave him head. And Cardi B was so shocked about this, but you constantly putting out songs like WAP and, and every other part of your category is hypersexualized, fantastic behavior. So my thing was, let's not act like you don't know why these young ladies are acting the way that they are acting, Cardi. And just like I combed Cardi's head, that wig that she be wearing, whichever color it is, I got the cone boozy head. I apologize, Cardi, because I ain't, I ain't cone boozy headed in these past couple videos. But now we got to get at this boozy fade. Boozy, you cannot act like now that you are a grown man who don't do nothing as far as uh, what Chiggs was saying is probably take care of his family and go fishing. You still partake heavily in this thug culture and what you portray in your music. And I'm sure if you put out an album, uh, a couple months from now, it's going to be the same thuggery that you've been talking about all these years. So being that the case, you can, how are you to now want to kumbaya with all the young kids as they've been listening to your music all this time? They've been doing exactly what you told them to do, which is to shoot people in the face. And to thug and to don't give a F about nothing and to tear thing up. You've been rapping about destruction in the black community and encouraging our kids to do so for all of your career. So 
we can't forget that, bro. Now, what we're asking you is to try to make an effort. What we're asking you, Cardi B, listen, Cardi, if you're going to preach the message to the young girls that they shouldn't be carrying themselves in this way, what we're asking is stop making music filled with thoughtastic behavior that's going to keep the ladies doing what they've been doing. You know what I'm saying? And so, Boozy, we're asking you the same thing. If you don't want beef to ensue, if you don't want rappers to beef on, you know, lyrically, which usually leads to somebody getting shot in the face, then you got to lead the way by trying to make a change in your music. Take a stand and be this new person that you, you're trying to convince them that you, that you want to be. Because the way in which you've been leading them is not it. We watch your own sons. And I know you're proud of your family. I'm proud of you and your family. But I'm going to just tell you, bro, watching your sons be too much like you at that early of an age. You know, you talking about you getting your son's head at 12 and all of this. We see them acting just like you at 13 and 14. That, that ain't it, bro. That's not it. It's not it for your kids. It's not a good look. And it sure ain't a good look for the community of all the, of society that we see that's, that's acting just as your music has portrayed us to act. You can make that change and still be respected. Brothers like Eric, the hip hop preacher, teams invite him all, you know, all type of professional places invite him, NFL teams to speak because people respect the change that he's made in his life. Like people are inspired by my brother Marcus for being the person that he is. And he ain't no internet preacher or nothing, but just in real life, he inspired people who ain't what he owned to be better. He so inspired me. People respect brothers like the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and Reza Islam. Reza Islam has been invited to a lot of hip hop platforms and he doesn't go there to like point fingers at everybody. He just goes to show himself to be the change and to share information with our brothers and sisters that will help them come up out the gutter. We need to help pull each other up out the gutter so that we can all start to be the change that we want to be so that the community can grow together. You know, people like my brother and Eric the Hip Hop Preacher, my man Inky Johnson, are the men of God that we should aspire to be. And it's nothing wrong with showing that side of it rather than showing the thug side of everything. You understand what I'm saying? And we know we struggle with being our old self and trying to be better and it don't always work. But you don't have to keep making the music you're making while telling these people to stop shooting each other in the face because it doesn't match. You can make the change and still be respected as we always have respected the, the real gems that you drop, Boosie. This is your boy Pete Camp. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.